Hey guys, welcome back to uh, the third and the last video in this skin retouching series when I will show you how to match the skin tones. As I mentioned, this is the third video in the series. In the first video, I did a skin cleaning, so we were able to get rid of some textured imperfections. And in the second video, I was doing dodge and burn and we were able to clean out the skin very nicely. If you want to watch the videos, I will definitely recommend uh, jumping onto them before you continue with this one. And I will link them in the description here and also in the upper corner. Now let's just jump into matching the skin tones. As we see here, the hands are very light and pinkish in comparison to the skin on the face and the shoulder is a little bit darker and yellowish in comparison to the skin so we need to sort that out and the very easy way how we can do that is by adjustment layer of curves let's sort the hand first because it's too light i will bring the curve down in the mid-tone to make it a little bit darker and also because we're getting some pinkish reddish tones here i'll go to my channel of red bring down the reds a little bit and also go the channel of green and the last one will be the blue where we'll able to add a little bit of yellowish tone instead of the pink ones now the adjustment is done and we can invert the mask and paint with our brush only at the hand make sure your hardness is somewhere in the middle just so we don't have much spillage and let's just go and paint the adjustment onto a hand If you uh, accidentally run into the place that you don't want, just switch your brush back to black and essentially bring the mask back. So there's our hand adjustment before and after. And if you think this is not perfectly matching, that's fine. Nobody's hand is matching perfectly to the color of the skin on the face. So we don't want to make it too perfectly matched. We just wanted to make a little bit closer to what's on the face and I think this does just that. The other issues here is the arm or the shoulder that is much more yellowish than the rest of the image. So we need to create another adjustment layer. This time we can bring the exposure a little bit higher up. Just a little bit. And because it's too yellow, we need to go to our blue channel. As we know, blue is opposite of yellow, so we have blue adjustments here and yellow colors here. So we can just bring the blue up slightly. So we balancing and disappearing the yellow and then replacing it with a little cooler tones. And now we introduce lots of pink, so let's go to green. As we know, green is opposite of magenta and we can counter that a little bit so just bring a slightly bit of green back in there so we get rid of the magentas that sounds about right we can invert the mask command i and now with our brush again paint the adjustments only where we need them to go make sure you're staying away from any hair although it shouldn't be affected, but just in case. And we can also go a little bit into the neck as well. As that's quite in the shadow, so it won't have much difference, but still. And here is the before and after. Now if I zoom out and put these two into one group, we can see this was our before and this is our after. Now the shoulder, hand and the face are much more similar to each other and the picture look much more balanced. So before, let me zoom in a little bit. 
before and after. Very easy local skin color correction. And that concludes all the free videos that are in this short skin retouching series. I hope guys it was very helpful for you. Uh, please make sure you don't forget to like the video and support me with your uh, subscribing. So just hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future uploads from me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!